Okay, I just filmed my third video on Donald Trump. On a syndicated daytime talk show called Dr. Oz. <laughs> this is going to happen. I found an opportunity to make an important video right here. It's important to get this out as soon as possible after the show just aired today. And so people will be more likely to watch this video. So I have to get this up fast. So this is all spontaneous, unplanned. So I can get this up right away. I know a lot about politics and health and Dr. Oz and his show. And I know a con when I see one. Truth be told, the richest thing about Donald Trump is his hypocrisy. And it's become pretty clear that the only reason he went on that show was for politics. Even his campaign manager said it would be strange for him to release his medical information on the show, which he didn't do. So, so he went on for political reasons. Specifically, I would say, I was thinking of this myself before I read it, Dr. Oz airs in the middle of the day, various times in between soap operas, and he needs to reach more demographics to win the presidency. Do you know where I'm going with this? Here's a clip of him on the show. And what, see if you notice anything different about him. Uh, I view this as, uh, in a way, going to see my doctor. It's just a little bit public, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. So, let me ask you if I can. It's what all male politicians do. They try to relate to women by bringing out their wives. Even when these men talk about how great their wives are, it can sound more condescending than anything else. The public will be so lucky to have Melania as the first lady. My best and better half, my wife, Jana. Before I do anything, I should introduce, I brought along my better half. Ladies and gentlemen, my better half. If the wives really are the better half of these candidates, why aren't they the ones running for president? Oh. Even psychiatrists are saying that he has classic psychopathic personality. You can tell them to go themselves. I don't like to use the word narcissist because people don't know what that means, but he's a classic example. And the world is full of those personalities. A psychopath is someone who lacks caring and being able to empathize with other people. They just don't have that part of the brain. Why does he seem so different here? How can he act like a normal person? Does he also have bipolar? No, I don't think so. Yeah, he may be crazy, but he is a smart person. And he knows exactly what he's doing. Look at how far he has gotten. Political commentators think this is strange for him to be going on Dr. Oz. So it's a smart guess that it's a smart political move by Trump. And I don't mean to stereotype by using the term soap operas. But look at the uh, audience of Dr. Oz. The statistics are most of Dr. Oz's audience are women. And he's putting on a good act. So you ask, how could someone just switch off their jerk personality and act as if they're a decent, caring person? Well, that's one of the traits of a psychopath. The brain is an amazing thing. Science hasn't yet to understand how it can do these amazing things. I think one thing is that the psychopath just learns how to appear normal sometimes. They learn by trial and error. Another thing is they tend to treat life like a game. You know, in Trump's case, it's like whoever gets to the finish line with the most stuff wins. And this is a fitting time to add this. Notice when you see Trump, he's often surrounded by overly attractive women. Have you figured out why Trump decided on the Dr. Oz show? Acting very differently and bringing out his daughter. Mr. Trump takes great pride in the fact that his children are a big part of his inner circle. Ivanka Trump is here. Please come on out. Thank you, Dr. Who gave him a hug and kiss, as always, as she always does in public? The latest initiative is to improve on child care in this country. The reality is that 47% of women are in the workforce, and um, 
stay-at-home mothers will also be recognized mm -hmm. and given the credit that they deserve for the work that they're done, that they do in raising their families. Could, could, you walk us through, could you walk us through some of the basic components? So what type of temperament is required for the President An of the United unbelievable States? Unbelievable, strong, and smart temperament. And I think it's my greatest asset. This. Why do so many people question your temperament? You know, I don't want to sound too much like a chauvinist, but when I come home and dinner's not ready, I go through the roof, okay? The woman cooks, and after a few years, he trades her in for a newer model. And I literally mean a newer model. You're saying that wives are just the props for the candidates. Yeah, and they shouldn't be. That's the job of the children. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Oh, you can see there was blood coming out of her eyes. Uh, blood coming out of her wherever, wherever. Why do so many people question your temperament? I'd bring back a hell of a lot worse than waterboarding. She said he's a p That's terrible. Terrible. Why do so many people question your temperament? They don't question. It's Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue went to Hillary Clinton. He was there for the female demographic. He's trying to appeal to women and manipulate them. We've seen the reality of Trump. There's a saying, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. This is a hostile, violent man who has done everything and anything to get what he wants, and he's done it. Dozens of businesses manipulating the tax system, manipulating women and acquiring them. Narcissists get very good at manipulating people, and they don't mind doing it. So they do really well with women. But this guy's more obvious because we've already seen who he is. Usually narcissists hide this pretty well until you get to know them really well. Psychologists will tell you they make a great first impression, and they can fool you for years, maybe. I feel sorry for these women that end up being manipulated by these men. I suggest looking up narcissistic personality disorder to get to know how to spot these people. They're often very charismatic, and they get what they want with that. I think this disorder causes a lot of divorces. Women will marry and divorce these guys without even knowing that this was the real problem. Thank you. So let me ask you if I can. I didn't just study this stuff for no reason. I've known several people like this. Matter of fact, about half the people I've ever known, very common. Now, Trump is really bad at hiding his psychopathic behavior. Just a few days ago, he said he's for killing people who flip off the United States Army. When they circle our beautiful destroyers with their little boats and they make gestures at our people that they shouldn't be allowed to make, they will be shot out of the water, okay? Believe me. That officially is lunacy. That's an act of war. This unhinged lunatic. The United States Army, you know, they're, they're part of the government. And they deserve it. Here's a finger for you, Trump. People like this need to be shut down quick. And we didn't do that, and now we have this big problem. Even if he doesn't become president, he's already been heard by so many people and he's polluted people's minds, he brought out this fringe group of crummy, deplorable people who now have a big voice and have been what politicians call emboldened, empowered. And some commentators are criticizing the media for not being tougher on Trump. You know, the president's trying to speak up. He's using comedy, but more people need to speak up. I think I'm doing really well with women, but what do I know? What do I know? They say I'm setting records with men. I want to set records with women, not with men. The hell with the men, right? The hell with the men. I want to set records with women. I found a list of some of the defining features of fascism, including a cult of action, a celebration of aggressive masculinity, an intolerance of criticism, a fear of outsiders, intense nationalism. Donald Trump said the following about you, quote, look at that face, would anyone vote for that? If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You, know? <laughs> Stop it. you gotta see this guy, oh, I don't know what I said, ah. Oh. Two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, throw them out, throw them out into the cold. Don't give them their coat. How stupid are the people of Iowa? If she gets 
to pick her judges. Nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is. I don't know.